All right, we have a new mask fest. Mask fest. And I'm here with Patty. And the, and the very first thing you see. Can I show you what I bought? Yeah, tell them what you bought, Patty. <laughs> a little kid was selling his artwork for a dollar a piece. I had to get it. <laughs> <laughs> and we're here at Mask Fest. Now, I want to say, okay, that I have wanted to go to Mask Fest for a long time. It used to be in Indianapolis. And I just thought, you know, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. And I never went. And just so you know, Indianapolis is closer to St. Louis than Cincinnati. So when it moved a little further away, that's when I decided to go. Does that make any sense? It makes zero sense. So let's walk in here. And you can see how big it is, because you can see Tom Savini is down there. And we're going to check out all these masks. And in case you have never watched any of our videos ever before, we're not going to do any editing, we're just going to walk through and look at everything, talk about it, and just give you an idea of what Mask Fest is in case you want to go for yourself. And then we're going to also be thinking about this from the haunted house owner's perspective. Should a haunted house owner come to this show? Well, I can tell you those masks right away are badass. And in case you don't know who this is, this was a 3D movie, and you can see the poster in the background, Robot Monster. It's $1,299. Now, I believe, and I'm not sure if I'm wrong about it, but you never actually seen that he was a skull, because he had like a diver suit on with antennas. It's one of the goofiest movies you've ever seen in your entire life. But it's iconic. It's a big part of horror. Back when horror was all about science fiction because of the nuclear bombs that hit Japan, there was a whole explosion of what does nuclear waste do to people? And everything was sci-fi. Even the cars, when you would buy a car, they, were, they looked like rocket ships. And that's how they did it back in the 50s. Now here's some masks. Now this is from, uh, now you know, I want to say this because people all think, oh, like, oh, Larry's, um, Sauna House is all about whatever. No, I know everything about horror, okay? That's from uh, Return of the Living Dead, Creature of Black Lagoon. That's Return of the Living Dead. That's from Return of the Living Dead. I'm not sure what that's from, but I know a lot about horror. Trust me on that. I've seen them all. And here we got Zach Studios. Hello. And let's check out all these masks. Look at that. That is really cool. Giant teeth. Now, are these masks wearable? No. They're just collector. Okay. And then you're at Grave Robber Union. So I'm guessing this is Tor Johnson. <laughs> no, but it's just a fat vampire. This is the original, see? And then that one I took a tooth off. But it's not Tor Johnson? No. I wanted it to looks do like a, it. Yeah, I wanted to do a Tor mask. I'm like, well, I'm so these are just like original? Yeah, this is uh, Attack of the Giant Leeches, the 50s movie. My interpretation of it. And that looks like uh, like Teenage Werewolf. Teenage Werewolf, yeah. yeah. Michael Landon. See? This is the top stone version, though. Yeah. The, uh, the old mask. You know that you're talking to somebody who knows horror when they know what that mask is. <laughs> right. That's Teenage Werewolf. <laughs> Which kind of inspired, in a way, Michael J. Fox. Oh, yeah. You know, that movie, yeah. Teen Wolf. Yeah. yeah. Hey, well, thanks a lot. Now, I have to say... Whoops. Here's some more masks over here. These are half masks. And I have to say, this one is really cool. We'll walk around that one's cool. Well, they're all cool. Why not? So if you're into mask collecting, you want to come here. Now, I have to say, I am a huge, huge fan of Attack from Mars. And that is really cool. How much is that? How much? 400. And this is also from a movie. There, you can see it right there. Invasion of the Saucer Man. What studio did that movie? One in American International back there. Something out of business. They carried all the people. Yeah. And that is a beautiful attack from Mars. And 
what do we got here? Now, uh, if this is based on the HBO series, I hate it. Hated that TV show. And I like horror, and I couldn't even watch it to the end. It's just so redundant. It's so rip off of Walking Dead. I, there's just, I just couldn't do it. And this Mass Fest is actually pretty busy. Ooh, there's Venom. And this is Extreme Design Effects, and that's Swamp Thing up there. And a Punisher t-shirt. Is that like Leatherface on the right? Yeah. I just picked it up. We already sold it. Ah. I love Swamp Thing. When I was a kid, I used to watch that. I watched it at the movie theater. And I was so happy to hear James Gunn is going to remake it. Yes. Well, James Gunn's not going to remake it, but he's now the head honcho of DC Studios, and it's on the slate to make Swamp Thing. Yeah, like Fangold or something like that. And he's going to do it as a pet project. The guy who did uh, Wolverine, Walt Logan, is going to do it because he just is a big fan. Yeah, he's a big fan of Swamp Thing. Yeah, it is. All right, let's keep walking. I bat works. Let's check this out. Now this would be from the band. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's escaping me. The famous band. And that looks Night of the Demons. Soul. And where did Patty disappear to? And that is none other than Vincent Price. Bella Lugosi. That's another Vincent Price. Another Vincent Price. Now that, that mask right there is really cool. Now this would be Dr. Fives, right? Dr. Fives. And there's Bride of Frankenstein. See, when you know that that's Dr. Fives, like, you, trust me, you know horror. So we got a bunch of masks here. And I'm trying to, like, show you the... Oh! This is the fake six million dollar man. Right? Yeah. The fake one. Yeah. There you go. Bam. That's nice. <laughs> so as a kid, I was into anything and everything. Uh, Sci-fi or horror. Look at that. That is one wild mask right there. We have a bunch of masks over here. Here is a silicone... Freddy Krueger, it says it's from CFX. So this person, look, this is CFX's booth, okay. Makes perfect sense, how's it going? Hey, how you doing, sir? Pretty good. How you doing, Hot World? Do you do very good there? at this show? Yeah, this is actually a really good show for us. Now, this is the wildest mask, holy cow, look at that thing. That is crazy right there. If I saw that, I would go running. And I like that one too. Especially with the throat. So this is CFX booth. And I saw this at Transworld and I was like, man, I gotta have that just to have it. That's the craziest mask I've ever seen. I just wonder if the actors can see out of it. Look at that. Oh, it's in UV. That's crazy. Look at that! It's supposed to like mimic the old ones from when you were a kid. Am I right about that? You are right, sir. As will that one. Yes. And it's in UV as well. It glows. That is a glow in the dark. And then you got a lot of half masks. Yeah, so the new thing that we have are the half masks with the lace-up backs. Oh, that's nice. Um, mainly for the haunt crowd and... Oh, and I like that. Yeah, you have a lot of cool masks. Yep. 
So this pin head is fifteen hundred dollars. This one's nine hundred twenty-five. I have to say, this Soul Eater, that's pretty wicked as well. He's brand new. He's brand new. How'd you guys do at Trans World? We did really good at Trans World. We like Trans World. How do you How do you do here? Uh, this is a really good show. It's a smaller show than Trans World, much more of a collector show. So we bring a more curated collection of our masks that are a little bit more custom and focused for this type of product. But we do really well. We like the show, and we'll be coming back. All right. Well, I'll be back. Look at this. I mean, I just have to get that mask. It's just so cool looking. Okay. Conqueror. On a Sunday, you like going. So CFX is here. Oh, look at that! They got a creature. Their own version of it. And distortions unlimited. And look at this. Here is all kinds of cool tiki monks and everything else. And there's Ed from Distortions. And look at that. Take me home. Last one for 2024 season. You can have that little alien right there. Patty! Uh, I'm going to leave you here and I'm going to put that in the front seat of the car. Well, just too well. Hey, Ed! How's it going? It's going fantastic. Why don't you have all your classic masks here? Well, because they're too hard to lug around. Yes, I hear you. We just try to bring the interesting stuff. I was shocked to hear you were to find out you were here. I just, I thought, what, what is there? I've never been, so I wanted to come. Yeah, it's real. Well, I've only made it through one third. Well, let me tell you, this room has got some of the greatest art. Yes. I mean, it's so perfect. Do you think haunted house owners should come to this? That's a good question. Your opinion, since you're, you started in masks, and a lot of people don't know that. I would say yes. I don't think there's as much, obviously, St. Louis, <laughs> Transwell, if you're a hot person, that's where you got to go. But the nice thing about this is there's some really, really great art. So if you've got a museum or something, like there's a full body creature from the Black Lagoon. Monster, Jack Nicholson, some of those are maybe have more connection, but there's also, you know, CFX is here. Which, yeah, I see that. You know, they, they do a lot of uh, silicone, so I do. I would say yes. I would say it's absolutely necessary. Yeah. I think this show should collate, locate with the St. Louis show. I well, think it would do. I think it would be better for them, for the vendors. It would be better for everybody because these people would love to go to the Trans World show and vice versa. Right. I think this show would do ten times better. Yeah. Not that it doesn't do great. No, Horror Hunt and Mass Fest are a good combination. Um, but can you imagine this at Transworld? That'd be pretty yeah, cool. It would, be cool. would you have a booth in both spots? <laughs> no. I'll tell you what. Well, I shouldn't say that. It's just hard to. We've done that before where we had booze in the dark zone and booze outside and some mess. But anyway. Did you see the video we did on you? Yes, it was great. Did you like it? I loved it. <laughs> it was long. Man. Well, you know, all the videos are long. Yeah. Because I, I didn't go all the way to Denver for nothing. Well, you got to cover everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, and the, the funny thing is, there's a lot of people that watch that whole video. Like Adam does a trans world video, and I mean, big numbers watch that, and they will sit through the whole thing because they couldn't come, so they want to see the whole thing. So yeah, because you're doing that too, right? You're doing full trans world sweeps, right? Yeah, uh, but where I just like. We did videos on individual booths, and then we did a, a, just walk through the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. I also yeah. did the most popular one that I do is the one I do before it opens. Oh, okay. And they and they claim that some people complain about it. It's like, come on, it's like oh, at it's four okay. in the morning before it starts. Give yeah, me a yeah. break. Who cares? It's like everybody needs to like calm down. It's the world has changed. <laughs> I remember when we do the Frankenstyle, Frankenhouse for Alice Cooper. Chef, his manager is like, well, what are we gonna do about? We're trying to keep it a secret. And I said, it doesn't matter. The people that watch that transformation and film it with their phones, 
they're gonna the only people are gonna watch that are the people that are gonna have to go and see it in the flesh. Exactly. You don't have to worry about it. it doesn't so what? If somebody wants to watch that and it's a spoiler, it doesn't matter. That is hundred percent correct. Yeah, yeah. Just, but anyway, we'll come back over here. Alright. And uh, I told Patty she's staying and I'm taking the Martian. Oh, good. Because I got to have a front seat for it. Listen, if you take this, I will be very happy because we're going <laughs> to dismantle it and ship it back to Colorado. We'll give you a discount. When are you going home? Three. Three o'clock today? Yep. All right, we'll be back. All right. All right. So Ed had mentioned this, and I have to say, that is insane. Look at that. Lily and Herman Monster. How much is this? How much is it if you bought it just like this? How much? 8000 Look at that. All right, well, I'll be back. And look, there's Johnny Depp from Edward Scissorhands. And there's the bride. Now, is this silicone? Yeah, this is silicone, and then these pieces are red. Wow, check it out. And what's the name of your company? Uh, Realistic Commercial. All right. I'll be back. Now, there's one reason right there why you would want to come to this show, because you could meet artists to... Um, maybe you could hire them to build you something, make you something. And there's Vampirella. In case you're not aware, I visited her grave in California. That is on the Haunt World YouTube channel. Dark Ride Chamber Laughs. Now that is funny. Very smart. That is very funny. Oh, nice. Here, hold it. Thank you. And you look at all this custom art. And these posters, I've seen these before. I've bought them. They're freaking great. There's nothing not great about them. They're fantastic. And he's even selling a book of it. And here's more masks. Look at that. It's like... It looks like Gary Oldman has a pumpkin. It says Pumpkin Witch. Huh? Who? Who's here? David Lady. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go see them. Did you say hello to him? And then printing them uh, half scale and then making them like a, I could do a shaded pumpkin. Look at these masks from Matt McNeil. Skeletor, I'm guessing. I mean, these are fantastic. Mask Manor by Mark Hansen. Look at that cool, wicked wish. This is called Spoof Show. Look at that mask right there. That is so cool. As is that witch and that witch. Wow. I love that one. It reminds me of the movie Dark Ride. Is it called Dark Ride? I'm not sure. How you doing, man? This isn't like the mask based on uh, Funhouse, is it? No, it's not. This is more based on like a uh, Ben Cooper vacuum for mask. Yeah, I mean, I get that part, but I was like, man, it's all, it seems like it's also inspired by Funhouse. It reminds me of Funhouse. It's a little bit wide in that way. Yeah. That Gunther's mask. But yeah. yeah. Now, did you see the the toys that came out for him? 
I did not. Oh get. yes, no, of course I have. Yeah, all from NECA. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think they're all right. There was a uh, there was an independent maker who was making those beforehand. I don't know if he worked in conjunction with them. Yeah, it's fantastic. Can people buy your mask online? This one, absolutely. Everybody can buy anything online. You can go to spookshowmonstermask.com. Spook like show on that label that monstermask.com. Or you can just search for Mike and Sabir's Spook Show. Search for Mike and Sabir online on Google. It'll bring me up on Instagram. How do you get your beard like that? I twist it around my finger when it's wet. All right. Can you tell that I've heard all these before? <laughs> now, this... Is definitely the, a mask based on like a 1970s whatever the yeah. back and forth mask, right? I'll tell you exactly what this is. So there's a mask maker named uh, the Old Mask Maker. He's VXX Effects, and he's one of the first of us to start doing the old school from the 60s and the 50s again in the late 90s. And he did it through the 2000s. It became a big hit with collectors. So he had a character that he used to wear this mask. To Conventions and things like that. Not this actual mask, but this character, which is called Monstrosa. And what it is is a bunch of his sculpts cut apart. Like this would be cut off, this would be cut off of one mask, this cut off of another mask, and glued onto an old fashioned uh, Don Post Studios 800 line Phantom and then repainted. So this is my tribute to that. It's like a Lon Chaney. Exactly. And I made it, I gave it that look like it's uh, like it's rotting, like it's coming back from the grave. Hey, well, thanks a lot. All right, thanks. No. Oh, no, Robert De Niro. No, no, no. But lots of cool masks here. Oh, I know what this is. This is Calibus from uh, Clash of the Titans. And there's the Grinch. Bride. Look at that. Look at that werewolf right there. Wow. Frankenstein. And of course, you can't go to a mask show without Michael Myers masks. Now, I've never seen this. It says it's from Trick or Treat Studios. I didn't under I didn't know that existed. But here's the booth of Trick or Treat Studios, and I will tell you that Trick or Treat Studios has a lot of great stuff to sell to haunted houses. Oh, look, a new Wolfman puzzle. I haven't seen that. And then over here, Preston. Check out his masks. And this is uh, from Savage Silicone. Oh my God, they tried to double up. They did the hamburger, now they're doing the soft served ice cream. Now I've seen it all. A soft served ice cream, and then this is their pizza box, where up below it, you put your hand in, and then you make it bite people. I'm sure you have to replace the box a lot, but yeah, that's really cool. I'm guessing this is like a, maybe like a, almost like a turd mask. I don't know, but they did really well with the hamburger mask. All right, whoops, excuse me. And so here's some more stuff from Trick or Treat Studios. Oh, look at this. Look at these masks. We're getting close to the end of this video, folks, because there's only one row left. Oops. And this is crazy. That is Jack Nicholson from The Shining. Look at that. Oops, can I, can I come in? And there's David Bowie from Labyrinth. Nosferatu. He's $3,000. It's latex. Okay, are these wearable? These are not wearable. These are silicone. Look at that. Um, these are latex. The clown and the witch are wearable. And the rest are wearable. He's $20,000. So if you want that, it's twenty thousand dollars. Jack is silicone. The head and hands are silicone, and the body is um, a foot we cast actually finds a body and then made a mold. And it's, so it's made of foam. And there's this 
Etsy, Monsters for Sale, Jeff Roberts, at Jeff Roberts Studio. Well, thank you. Could you make a full-size Beetlejuice? He, he, he did. He didn't like it. Um, so he went with the, like, just the chest after that. And he, he's talked about doing it again. But it is a lot of work to make it really lucky. So. Wow, these are crazy cool. Thank you. Let's see. Look at these masks. Uh, Try to remember what movie this is from. What movie is that from? Um, it's actually one of the languages. What is it? It was, uh, it was the cover of Creepy Magazine. Creepy in, Magazine. In the 70s. It's just actually like a character from the cover of the magazine. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've seen it a million times. Yeah. <laughs> it's very popular. That's good. Now that is one wild mask right there. There's not one but three of them. And this is Monster Skull Studios on Instagram. Is that you? Uh, it's my boyfriend. He's gone right now. Okay. And then we have Donnie McCurry. And let's check out all of his masks. And there is Boris Karloff. We have a few over here that we didn't see. We're gonna check this out. Mark, Samson Designs. And there is Snow White? Yes. Okay, all right, I got it right, I got it right. What is it made of? Is it, it's latex, okay. I have to touch it, it's, it's painted so well, it almost looks like it might be not latex. It looks really nice. Mark? Samson Designs. And then we have Friday 13th, a Banshee, Feral Works. Homelander, can you believe that? And there's the other one. Uh, what's his name, Billy? So somebody's made masks on those guys. Look at that. So good. Yes. And then we have the Gemini Company. I don't know that we saw this one, so we'll walk over here. Peyton. Patron. You can see Instagram. Pey Peyton Patron Sculpting. And here's all of her masks. This one's pretty wild. Look at that. <laughs> a blown up brain, the whole shebang. Very nice, thanks. Oh, she's gonna get it to work. Oh, look, Larry, down. Where, where? Oh, these are animated. Max. Which one's going off now? They're Basically, these are the mouth, and uh, this part is the forehead. Oh, yeah, look at it. So it makes it go. Very nice, thank you. All right, so we have like one more row of this amazing show The Grinch. And we have uh, Disney's Haunted Mansion. Is this Norman Bates' mom? Yes. And that's another one from Disney's Haunted Mansion. And that's Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Scooby-Dooby-Doo, where are you? That's one of like the four famous villains of Scooby-Doo. Thank you. Now we're getting into the very last row. Look at this. All of these characters. They're fifty dollars. And this one says Bixby Studios. Right here you can see Bixby. Oh sorry. You've got a mummy. He's pretty funny. 
That's, that guy's my favorite. How much is he? He's already sold. And they have pumpkin pulp. They come to Transworld every year. Howdy. Hey, how's it going? Um, oh, you have some masks over here. Yeah, they used it. It is a happy These look like silicone, but they're more like bus. You know, those are late days. Those are, that's silicone. Oh my God, look at that. That is disgusting. Is this a wearable mask? No, it's a bust. Wow, that is really amazing. Look at this guy, he's vomiting up a donut. That is disgusting. What is this from? What movie is this from? Funhouse. Funhouse. Yeah. That's right. It's like that's when his. That's right. Oh wow! He pulls it off and I was like, man, I know what that's from, and I was just talking about it. That's the mask that he wore over his head. Yeah. In Funhouse, it's a great little dark ride carnival horror movie. Wow. Are these sold already? Uh, no. Wow. I'm gonna come back. Here, I'll give you a. Graham is the artist. He's just taking a break right now, but that's his Instagram in the back. Instagram, right here. <laughs> and then down here is like all the movies that we worked on. The oh. makeup artists from Toronto. So the boys. Yeah. The Last of Us. Dune. And this is obviously from The Last of Us. Literally probably the worst TV show I've ever seen. I hated it. And I hope they do not make another one. And this would be from, what, American Werewolf in London? Well, it's inspired by, yeah, for sure. It's just my version. Your version? Yeah. Version of a monster. Well, the dead giveaway, you know, is like he's wearing a German helmet. Yeah. Because if you haven't seen the movie, there's Nazis in it. Hey, thanks a lot. Where was Dr. Lady at? Okay. And we have Tom Savini. If you don't know, he's really famous for masks. Prince. Scat. Wow, those are really nice. That is from Fright Night, right? Yes. Rodney McDowell, Planet of the Apes. <laughs> hey Tom, can I ask you a question? What is your favorite mask? Yes, your favorite mask. I just got the Freedom of the Opera, the Chinese thing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So far, that's been it. Have you ever bought a mask from... Wait a minute, you're turning this into an interview. Yes. You said you had a question. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, we need to get you to come to Transworld. Oh, anytime. Yeah, I'll get your info. Tom Sabini, famous makeup artist. Now our last booth, which I promise you is the best, is Dr. and Laura Lady. And look at these wild masks. Now, there's nothing that Dr. Lady doesn't know about masks. Look at this, the Hassel Castle. Calendar of Monsters by Dr. Lady. Look at this. That is crazy. I don't see Dr. Lady here, but I do see Laura Lady. Look at those masks. And there's the Horror Hotel soundtrack. Unbelievable. Laura! Laura Lady? 
It's Larry from Hot World. How's it going? What? It's going good. I'm making a video for Hot World. Oh, yeah? So how's Mass Fest for you? Uh, do you guys still have Haunted Hotel? Or hotel, if you don't do it anymore? No. Where's Dr. Lady? Oh, okay. I haven't talked to you guys in a long time. Yeah. How many masks do you guys own? <laughs> yeah, because it's hundreds and hundreds. Do you guys still live in Chatfield? Why don't you do Horror Hotel anymore? There you go. Well, it was nice to see you. It's tiresome, right? That's wonderful. Now, I heard that uh, Dr. Lady became the mayor of the town. Is this true? He did a shift and a half. A shift and a half? Yeah. Was that interesting for him to be the mayor? He was. He was. He was fine. He did a good job. I love him. Yeah, I want to uh, say hello to him. Somewhere between here and the Northern Lights. Well, and by the way, I went to, do uh, you remember Wayne Toth? So I went to his Halloween store called Halloween Town, and he's got you in there. Yeah, you're as a vampire in the corner. Not for sale, but it's a full-size lore lady as a vampire. And I literally said to the people who work there, I said, I know who this is. Who is it? I said, that's lore lady. They're like, it's a, it's like an Easter egg, you know, uh, because somebody who was inspired to make masks, like Wayne Toth, who also did movies, was inspired by Dr. Lady, so he put Laura Lady in his, and it's like the best Halloween store I've ever seen. Have you ever been there? It's in Los Angeles. But if you go, go to Halloween Town and you'll see yourself. All right, well, you, how's Wolfie? Did, did, uh, did you or Dr. Lady buy any masks? No. Not, you're not taking any home. Hey, well, it was nice to see you. And hopefully I can see Dr. Lady before it's all over. But thanks a lot. There's some booths out here, Larry. Yes, there's some more booths out here. And there's also another photo op. And you know, look at these. These are really, really cool. Mummies, mirror maids, will you escape? I will take you howling. The Wolfman Fun Express. Whoops, excuse me. Our most shocking attraction, Frankenstein's a Castle. 13 room of screens and terror. Dracula's Spook House. Can you survive? These shirts are fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. House of Horrors. Oh my gosh, I love them all. These are fantastic. Look at that. Look at this one. That is great. This one's pretty cool. This one here? They come to Transroll. You come to Transroll? Yes, sir. I love your shirts. They're a, freaking there, great. That's the name of the company. You'll recognize it when you see it. What's the name of it? The Halloween Shirt Company. Fantastic. I love them. Let's see. Oh my gosh. There's Michael Myers again. We've seen you like over and over. It's like you're stalking us almost. <laughs> <laughs> Here we got some more masks from the Coffin Ghoul. Ministry Effects. Oh, Sinister. Okay, my bad. Castle of Terror. I just sat at the table and then they were like, well, 
Goblin House Mask. Oh, now this is super cool right here. Hold on, we gotta stop and see this. These are like replicas of masks. Not replicas, but like they're versions of masks that would have been made in the 70s. That you would get in a little box like that. And you would go to your local department store and you would get these masks, these costumes. It would come with like a little suit and the whole shebang. Do these come with a suit? No. no. Look at that. These are so freaking are really cool. From Goblin House Masks. Now let's look around and see what else is left. Our battery is almost dead, which means this video is going to be over here real soon. Now I can tell you what this is. That looks like the very first Joker, but I don't know. Uh, what, it's like a silent film, my guess. Silent film. It's like a recreation of that silent film mask. Let's see what else we got here. Oops, sorry. Homemade horror Christmas ornaments. Now those are cool. So these are all ornament, horror ornaments. And here's the Christmas tree. Everything is right there hanging on the tree. And then over here, lots of 3D printed stuff. Very, very cool, very cool. Now, I have to say, this show is fantastic. Any haunted house should come to this show. If for no other reason than to meet and talk to artists about maybe making you something or having cool t-shirts or cool collectibles on display. Holy cow. Now, this show is absolutely fantastic and I strongly recommend coming to this show. 110 percent now I've lost Patty we're gonna try to find her and get her thoughts on the show now I'm really disappointed that dr. lady wasn't in his booth because we would have loved to chat with him but wow this show is crazy right there you see it mask fest unbelievable all kinds of cool collectibles. The show is absolutely fantastic. And look at this art right here. Whoa. Mm, unbelievable. What do you think of this show? I love it. I know. I There's do. So much talent in this, in this show. I know. It's like. Monster Palooza and what Monster Palooza used to be like, where you get to meet a lot of artists yeah. who make a lot of uh, very, very creative uh, things. I would, would you, do you think a haunted house owner should come to this show? Of course, they're enthusiasts as well. Look at this, I didn't even see this to put over your uh, light switches. And I have collected a couple cards of people that sell in uh, wholesale. Did you see that one over there, the ornaments? They sell ornaments that are horror. And they have them in packaging. Now look at this, we, we skipped over this booth, but Reynolds is here, mask making equipment. Of course you gotta have mask making equipment, right? And let's just take one quick peek and see if Dr. Lady returned, and the answer is no. And our battery is about to die, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to go. And I can tell you this right now. What I plan on doing over the next hour is go through this show and buy stuff because now I want to buy everything. <laughs> this show is crazy. I've been talking about coming for years and never did. And now I'm glad that I did. What do you think, Patty? 
Yeah, it's amazing. It's absolutely fantastic. The show is fantastic. And I would strongly suggest you come. And hey, the bonus is it's co-located with Whorehound. So if you don't want to go to a Whorehound by itself, come to the one where it co-locates. And you know the other thing is right here in this town, there's a lot of great haunted houses. There's a ton of great haunted houses here in the Cincinnati area, and you can come visit them. So make sure you like and subscribe to our page. And there is one last thing that we did not see. We skipped this. It was this booth right here. Tim Dolan, Macabre Mass and the Facts. And look at this creature in Black Lagoon he has here. And it looks like he's got a wearable suit. Is that a wearable suit? Yes. Are you kidding me? Yep. This is wearable, all that is. Uh, this up here is as well. So it's that one. Wow. Is that these latex? Are the, these are the original molds from the movie. Really? Yep. Along with his feet back here too. And he, he was here side by side making the most important Look at that. What was the original suit made out of? I am not sure. And there you go, Tim Dolan. And then up there, that Franken slide on the top, that is, uh, the artist's name, it was in Universal Studios, Monster Cafe, in the Wow. Yeah, too bad Monster Cafe is gone, but hopefully it returns in the new Universal. Hopefully. Oh, well. Thank you. I mean, I meant to say, oh, wow. Let's hope. I don't know if I saw this. But we'll come back and look at it. It's pretty demented, I would say. You know, the, oh, there's. Hey, uh, can I ask you a question? What is your favorite scary movie? Too many answers. Although I do have one favorite. What? Scream 6. Scream 6. All right. Scream 6. Now we've, now we've heard it and seen it all. Now we know the best horror movie of all time is Scream 6. Well, anyway, that's going to about do it for this video. Uh, we really were hoping to catch Dr. Lady, but this is a non-edited video. If In case you are not aware, on our website, we do a lot of non-edited videos where we just take you along for the ride. You get to see everything there is to see, and then the video's over. So say goodbye, Patty. Goodbye, Patty. Goodbye, Patty. And this ice cream cone. I that's just insane. Just insane. And hopefully, with every booth that we went through. We're showing you, whoa, look at that costume. Um, we've showed you the artist, and we took our time, I think, to, to kind of sort of give everybody an idea of how to reach these people. And I can tell you my favorite thing in the whole show that I saw was this thing right here. I want to have that. That is just too incredible. Wow. And it's silicone. Wow, that's crazy. And there's Ed from Distortions, and there's Marsha. Looks like they're talking to somebody that's wearing a Pee Wee Herman shirt. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna walk around, and I'm just trying to buy time, honestly to see if Dr. Lady comes back. But he still has not returned. So we will talk to him later, but not on this video. With that being said, go trick-or-treating and scare as many people as you can this Halloween at Mask Fest.